I thought I'd show you the free gift you get in this pack. You've got it, and you can take shackle two, and you've got it, get the smallest hole, which is just at the bottom there, and again, screw that into 39F. So if it's going to I am screwed. Now, by his instruction four, we're getting 39C, which is this part here. And we're going to be connecting 39B, which is this part here. Now, how it's saying to you guys is have the fin, that shark tail, I call it, the jaws tail, at the back like that. And then that's going to basically go on the front and fit on like that. Now, to attach this, you can see there, we've got like a little line. That's just going to place on there like that, and we're going to attach that with two. Hey all, welcome back to the channel, Rich for free. Hope you're doing good, guys. Hope you're well. Today I'm building Don's charger from Fano. This is a thirty nine guys. This is the magazine, which we'll go through in a sec, and we've got the parts here, which I've not undone as yet, guys. I'm going to keep that for you guys to watch me and do. If you want to get a part of this, guys, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, for the fan out website and if you're not already guys subscribe for more like comment and share and press that bell notification you will not ever miss out on a build or any vlog i put up on the channel without further ado guys let's crack on with don's charger from fan out So here we have the mag and the parts, which we'll take a look through in a sec. But let's first of all take a look through this week's mag of the Fast and Furious Build the Legendary Dodge Charger RT from Fan Arm. Loving this build at the minute, guys. All right, you've got the usual expected content. Shots from the movie. Brilliant to look through this guys while you're waiting for the next issue to come along and here's what we're doing today guys the right rear leaf spring so yeah this is just going to be a new enough duplicate of last week but we're doing the right side this week and uh, where last week we did the left this is the right so as you can see here these are the instructions now bear with me today guys this is the first video i'm doing with my, my new setup um same phone but i've got new camera holders if that makes sense where i'm going to be doing a different shot you usually see this shot but more um, the other way if that makes sense your diagonal here is usually above the desk now today i'm going to do it a different way so what i'm trying to explain is the camera will be looking down at the desk but i'll be working towards you if that makes sense not underneath the camera so let me know guys if you notice that or if it feels better how I'm going to be filming because this is all for you guys so I just want to make it a better experience for you and better quality so let's just get everything out already and let's take a look at these parts what we've got in today's issue of Don's Charger okay then so first of all guys We've got 39A, which is the right rear leaf spring. That's metal. Let's put these to one side, guys, and then we'll crack on with this build. Then we've got 39B, which is the rear leaf spring mounting bracket. There you go. Again, all this is metal, guys, which you would expect from the leaf springs, to be fair, because they've got to be strong. This is 39C, which is the front leaf spring hanger and he said anger then but hanger i've got to speak properly guys there you go and 
next, we've got these two little 39D and 39E. And these were hard to get out last week, guys. Let me just basically it's two of those guys. I'll get the other one out in a sec. But that's 39D and E. That was the Leaf Spring Shackle 1 and 2. Now, a little tip here, guys. You need to get these the right way around. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. That hole is bigger than that. You need to get those the right way around. Because if not, you're going to have a whole lot of trouble. And on there, you can see number two. Oh, I love this light. You know, I've got now, guys. It's a lot better. You can actually see what you're doing there. Now, I hope it's come out on the, on the video. There's number one. The shackle lighting's your key guys if you're doing this sort of game you need good lighting right 39f that is the rear leaf spring hanger yeah that's the key guys having good lighting and good sound which i've not sorted out as yet i've got to try and get these mics working which i've brought and that'll give you better sound quality and we've got some zero m screws fm screws and am screws so guys, I'm going to sort my desk out, and here we go guys, I'm going to lay the new set out of this camera, my phone, and fingers crossed guys, it's going to be good footage. Let's crack on. Okay then guys, so first of all, I thought I'd show you the free gift you get in this pack. You've got it, it's another mug guys, look at that. The Fast and Furious mug, I love that. You've got Fast and Furious on that side also. But yeah, that's another mug to the collection, guys. That will be going on the shelf just above me here where we've got Dom's charger. But I thought I'd show you that. I'm going to put that to one side now and we're going to crack on. Okay then, guys. So instruction one, we need to take 39F, which is this part here. And you've got like that little fin showing there. And we need to take shackle one. So if you just look at your shackles, guys, as you can see, if that's coming out on camera that's shackle two so we don't need that one as yet what we need is this one here where is that shackle one and then what we're going to do is if we position this the right way around so if we turn that that way around guys you can see there there's a little hole that's where we've got to screw this shackle one now what you want to do is put that that way around you can tell then you've got a big hole and a little hole turn it around you can see the little hole that's what we want to be putting into this part so we want to be attaching 39f to 39d so if we just get the screwdriver and um, we need an am screw for this guys so we'll just get an am screw over here right this is very weird guys because i am now doing this totally back to front you might not have told this over the months years i've been filming but story short I used to always film with the camera above me, but now I'm doing it all caggy handed because the camera is in front of me. And I'm basically having to do it, it seems like I'm doing it back to front because usually the camera's above me and it's shining down on me. Whereas now it's coming towards me, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, guys, but yeah, it's very weird fairly weird so if I just screw this screw in like so and that's how that's looking at the end of instruction one guys now instruction two we need to take shackle two and you've got it get the smallest hole which is just at the bottom there and again screw that into 39f so if I just get another am screw a bit of oil on it and just line that up guys and screw that together there you go use me other screwdriver because this one's a bit better so yeah make sure that's nice and tight yeah just make sure guys you've got the big holes at the top and the small holes where you're putting the screws at this present time because if not you might have a few problems then attaching the leaf spring further down the line so just make sure these are nice and tight that's fine put that there guys and 
screw that in. Yeah, there we go. And at the end of introduction two, guys, that's how that should be looking. That's that view. Looking good. So yeah, now we need to do instruction three. So take your leaf over, which you've got here, guys. And then what you want to do is have the hole furthest away as you're connecting it to 39E. And that's how that's going to look like that, guys. So on the instructions, it's saying do it this way around. So what I'm going to do is get that ready there. And then take an OM screw. Very panicky this is, guys, because I'm not sure if this is coming out right because I can't see what I'm filming because I used to be able to see what I was filming because the camera's above me, but now the camera's just shining towards me and it's panic stations, to be fair. I really hope it's coming out, guys, all right. We'll soon see. Right. So, push that there, free line like that, and then by right it should bite the other side to screw this leaf into place. Let's get the other screwdriver. us all the way up to instruction two as you can see screws in nice comes out the other side and if you know you've done it right because that fin should be that side of the leaf so let's move on to instruction four and before moving on to instruction four guys i thought i'd quickly show you the diagram just here that's where our two leaf springs are going to be fitted in the future on the model but I thought I'd show you that before we continue. But now we're going to move on to instruction four, which is just on the page. So this is what we're doing next, guys. Now, guys, instruction four, we're getting 39C, which is this part here. And we're going to be connecting 39B, which is this part here. Now, how it's saying to you guys is have the fin, that shark tail, I call it, the jaws tail, at the back like that. And then that's going to basically go on the front and fit on like that. Now to attach this, you can see there, you've got like a little line. That's just going to place on there like that. And we're going to attach that with two FM screws. So if we just get a bit of oil on these guys, we'll get these attached. When attaching it guys, you want that curve looking like that, that way down. Now I've already started this screw off. I'll just continue it. And again, this is an FM screw, guys. You want two of these in here. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit of a teething video, to be fair. So bear with, guys. Like, I'll have to move cameras about, except if it's not perfect or the shot's not the best. But the trouble is, you've got once you've videoed it, you can't really rebuild really it again. I could, but I don't want to take it all apart and do it again. And I mean, I've got a feeling the camera is shaking a little bit as I'm doing this, so that's going to have to be resolved somewhere where I don't lean on the desk as much, which is a bit annoying. So, yeah, I'm up against it at the minute, guys, trying to get this video where I want it to be, or this filming, should I say. Right, so that's instruction four done. And that's how that's looking. Pretty cool. So now we want to do instruction five. Now, if you position that that way round, take the leaf spring, and again, you're just going to be applying that in there, like so. You need to get one of these OM screws, which are pretty big, and it's saying attach it from 
any sort of shower. No water on this photo, huh? This is a lot better than last week. I had a lot of issues last week, but this week seems, dare I say, to be doing pretty well. And just gotta make sure that's lined up there like that. And she's not gonna get threaded through. But as you can see, it's gone through now. do at the end guys I think I'll get the other leaf spring and we'll put them side by side and you can see both leaf springs together but guys that is it that is it for this week's issue of Dom's charger there we have the right rear leaf spring do hope you enjoyed it guys hope you like the new camera angle I'm not sure yet I just hope it acts all right in the editing but that is it guys thanks for watching take care see you soon and that is it for this week's build of Dom's Charger, guys, from Funham. I do hope you enjoyed it. Basically, we've done the right leaf springs, so now we've got both leaf springs to fit to the model of Dom's Charger. Loving this build, guys. I really do hope you're enjoying it. If you did enjoy it, remember to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, press that bell notification, you will never miss any video to do with Dom's Charger or any other video on the channel, guys, to do the Titanic. The Millennium Falcon. There's loads going on, guys. So take a look through the playlist, and hopefully you'll enjoy. And give us a big thumbs up at the end of each video. As you can see, guys, I've got a new um, what they're called. It's a selfie stick, basically. But that's for where my camera is at the minute where I'm filming, uh, which you might have noticed in this video. It's in different shots this time, so it's all new to me. So fingers crossed, it was a good video because I'm doing it basically back to front now, guys. So I can just aim up to the camera where I used to have the camera over the table before if that makes sense I've got new lighting behind me um, I've got to get another one for this side of the camera but hopefully that's making the, the shots better also because there was a bit of fuzziness at the top of the video last week so I've got hold of me a new light but I've brought some new mics now I've just got to figure out how to work these and hopefully in the next coming videos you'll see or hear should I say better sound quality. I'm trying to get this done guys so I bring better images, better quality sound quality for you guys watching and subscribing to me. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there guys. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the subs, the likes, the comments, shares. Do really appreciate you guys. Come back next time. I'm hoping to put the Millennium Falcon out tomorrow. When you see this video it should be Friday if I've managed to edit it on time. So, this is Dom's Charger. Hopefully tomorrow on a Saturday evening guys or late Saturday wherever you're watching it it with the Millennium Falcon from Fan Home. But for now, guys, thanks for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend. Take care. Peace.